this band on one of the areas. We're just coming up behind the boat just to scope the area out and Simon takes one step and all we saw was just a flurry of action. Hell! <laughs> <laughs> I nearly stood on him. Didn't even know what it was to start with, but then as we tracked it down, it popped its head up about 50 metres out, and, mate, it was a croc, all right. Simon hasn't yet processed just how lucky he was that the croc decided not to attack. You see that? I saw it start. Nearly stood right on that. We've got to be so careful in here. But you didn't see that one. <laughs> one step further and it would have been a very different story. This croc just, just absolutely erupts out of the mud and takes off at a million miles a minute. And I reckon one more step and he would have stood on its back. Most people see crocs sitting on a sand bank or a mud bank and they don't look like they can move very fast, but crocodiles are super lightning fast in the water and they're actually quite fast out of the water. So if you did happen to stand on one, he's gonna spin around and bite you and he'll break your leg if he bites you. Australian saltwater crocodiles are one of the deadliest apex predators in the world. Adult males average five metres and weigh half a tonne. But don't be fooled. Crocs can swim three times faster than an Olympic medalist. They're aggressive and territorial, with each male the sole inhabitant of his own area. Crocs hunt by lurking underwater, perfectly still, waiting for prey. Then, they use their powerful tail muscles to launch out of the water and attack. They have the strongest bite of any creature due to their enormous jaw muscles, which can easily crush a large animal's skull. They drag prey underwater and drown them, performing a death roll to break the carcass apart. Bottom line, you don't mess with crocs.